Hey, Facebook. So, um, I wanted to do a quick public service announcement um, about squirrels. So, I posted earlier, y'all, this filter is giving me freckles because I've only got like three to choose from. So, here you go. Um, and y'all don't want me without a filter. I mean, I do usually, but anyways. Okay. So, um, talk, let's talk squirrels. Y'all, the squirrels thing. Hey, Autumn. So I have rehab squirrels. If anybody remembers back Hurricane Harvey, I ended up with three squirrels and um, I got started. I went looking for a rehabber. Um, I'd already rehabbed some birds and stuff. So she was overrun with animals. And because I had experience before, she apprenticed me. Um, and I've, I will link her organization. I took my post down, guys, because... It was doing exactly what I didn't want it to do is the, oh my gosh, the squirrels are so cute. I want one. You know, everybody's talking about their pet squirrels and perpetuating the pet squirrel business. And it's big, fat, illegal in Texas. And so honestly, I just didn't like want any of you putting yourself out there anymore with your pet squirrels on one hand. And I know like, and let me just say that people start with squirrels be in, with really good intentions. Like you find a squirrel, you want to do the right thing. You don't know exactly what the right thing is, but you sure it's, you know, feed it and water it and things like that. And, you know, a lot of times people get on the internet, they research, they figure out how to do it, but they do it wrongly. And then they can't release the animal. And I, through working with Nay, the most heartbreaking thing is when people have their animals that are captive that shouldn't be like squirrels, skunks, uh, a possum, um, possum, oh, that one doesn't happen very often, but, um, what's the other one? Raccoon. Everyone's pet raccoons. Y'all, if you keep a raccoon, it's, it's life cycle is so shortened. Like it's not designed. I've gotten to see animals that people can tell, you know, they've had it a few years, it's declining. Then they reach out to somebody like Nay and she has to take this baby with all these major health issues because the wrong diet and exercise and all those things. So I wanted to come on here and this is not as quick as I meant for it to be, but I want to talk about what to do if you find a squirrel. Okay. Because it is illegal for you to keep it. Okay. So the first thing, that, and, and like I said, I know it's just you wanting to help. So how do you help? Number one, do not feed it and do not water it. That's not your job and you haven't been trained in it. The one big, two big things I need you to do get it warm. It needs to be your temperature as quickly as possible. And that's a way that you can help the rehabber. Because when somebody brings me a cold squirrel, I don't get to give it water and food like it needs. I have to get it back up to the temperature outside and inside that it needs to be. Or it's if I give it food or water or electrolytes, a blend that we use, if I give it those things while it's still cold, it will die. Okay. So this is why, you know, everybody's like, oh, squirrels are cute. But let me tell you the things that if you do wrong, it will die. If you let it get cold, it will die. If you give it water, it will die. If you don't do the right electrolyte solution, it will die. If you give it personal milk, person milk. So I got one that they tried to help and they gave it human milk. I'm struggling guys. This poor baby right now is on what is a homemade hot pad of water bags trying to get his, he won't hold temperature. And, and it's just because of that one mistake, right? He got cold and they fed it on a cold stomach, the wrong food. And the chance of that squirrel making it is really, really small. And if you're somebody who eats squirrels and shoots them, don't comment below. Okay. I'm trying to save the ones I can. So, okay. If you also, if you don't know how to potty them, they have to be pottied. Their mommy does that by licking them. That's not what I do. There's other techniques, but I'm just saying all of these things add up. And if you do this wrong, you can't, Carol Davis said, heat it in the microwave. Girlfriend, I hope you're not talking about my baby squirrels. I'm, a, I'm gonna die. <laughs> um, so when you heat it, you just want to get it to your temperature. So you can use a hot pad. Um, I always have hot pads with me that don't have automatic shut off. That's what I use on rehabs. Um, you can use a Ziploc bag of warm water. Don't burn. Remember, this has got to be, their temperature should be about your temperature. So we're going into the spring. If you find a squirrel, you're going to get it warm, put it on a plastic bag, hold it there, put it on a heat pad, do something to get it warm. Your second job is to call everybody you know to find a licensed rehabber. I get that you think it's cute and you want to help, but a rehabber has everything she needs 
on, I bet you don't have squirrel formula in your, in your fridge. I do, right? Rehabbers do. So instead of like you trying to figure it out, the time that you're going to spend on the internet trying to figure it out, that baby's chances are decreased. So best bet, get it warm, call a rehabber so that you can hand her a warm baby that all she has to do is get it back hydrated. There's a way for her to test that or him, the rehabber can be a him, and then the baby has a really good chance of survival. So, and y'all, out of these five, statistically, I mean, the, it's hard work. I have all my friends that know, um, that have talked to me in the last day, y'all know two nights ago I didn't sleep. I was up every 30 minutes with a baby that was seizing. And um, so I just want you to know, all you need to do is, you need to call somebody who can help you. If you don't know, call it, now you know me. So if you have an animal to rehab, message me. I will find somebody who rehabs that animal if it's not one that I can get to, to, to my rehabber. So that's really it, guys. I know that everybody's intentions are super, super good. But, you know, these squirrels are never going to see my dogs. They're not going, like, their eyes aren't even open yet. When they do, they're going to be moved to a room that they don't see dogs. They don't see cats. I'm not going to put them in bed with me. They're not going to crawl on the couch. They are made to be wild, and I'm going to give them every chance. If I babied them and packed them around and made them into cute little stuffed animals, you're right. They wouldn't run away. They wouldn't. They would, they would know me, and I want them to go wild as quickly as possible so they can go back into nature and do their thing, and that's what I want to do, and that's what you should want to do too. So um, I hope this didn't feel like too much of a spanking if you commented on my post earlier. Um, but honestly, um, it's people just don't know. Most times people say, I didn't know I couldn't keep it. Um, no problems. Just reach out to somebody who can, um, who can take that from you. There are people who are certified to take ones that are injured or blind or things like that. And I promise they live out really long lives with the right diet and the right kind of care. So I hope this helps. And um, keep me in mind for your squirrels this year. I think that's it. Any questions, drop them in comments.